One of the cold spots on a house is where the edge of a slab is exposed to the outdoors. Because outdoor air is a lot colder than the ground in winter and hotter in summer, this thermal bridge is really more like a thermal runway. But when you add brick to the picture, things get a little more complicated. Basically, you need a shelf to support the brick. This can be either a piece of angle iron bolted to the foundation, or it can be a cast in place step. But let's start from the beginning. A bed of compacted gravel caps the ground under the slab as a capillary break and a solid base for the concrete. Lay a plastic vapor barrier atop the gravel and wrap the edge of the plastic up to grade as a barrier against ground moisture. Pour that slab, adding a shelf to the outside. It's best to slope the shelf away from the house. Also, make sure it's deep enough to support brick, at least an inch of drainage space, and room for any exterior insulation you'll add. Install a drip edge flashing, preferably stainless steel or copper. It's best to tuck it behind the wall sheathing if possible, but it should at least be wrapped under the house wrap. Install the exterior insulation. If you're not adding insulation, add another layer of building paper. And call in the bricklayers. As they lay that first course of brick, make sure that they add weep holes every couple of feet. Otherwise, water that gets behind the brick won't be able to escape. Weep holes and flashing with a kicked out edge give water a place to go. This should be all you need for a dry slab, but before putting down the floor, it makes sense to use a waterproofing membrane or a masonry paint. With the water management system in place, turn to slowing the heat flow. Lay sleepers on the slab every 24 inches with strips of rigid insulation between them. Cover it all up with subfloor panels and you're on your way to a slab assembly that ain't scared of the weather.